Hi, I'm Randy Vance. I'm in New Smyrna Beach, Florida today with the folks at Edgewater Boats. I'm testing a new dual console crossover boat. It's the 245 CX. Now this has been a proven and popular boat in their lineup for three years. I want to walk you through it show you all the great features on board, but first take a look at the results of our performance testing from earlier today. Our test boat was equipped with a Yamaha F300 outboard. Our test prop was a Saltwater Series 2 15 and a half by 17 inch stainless steel 3 blade. We had a test load of 450 pounds of passengers and 50 gallons of fuel. We reached a top speed of 49.9 miles per hour at 5800 RPM. Our time to plane was 4 seconds and our time to 30 miles per hour was 7.4 seconds. Our most economical cruise speed was 27.6 miles per hour at 3500 RPM while burning 8.8 .8 gallons of fuel per hour. Now the helm station has all the features you'd expect in a big water boat. First of all, you have plenty of room to put a 15 inch GPS panel here. We've got our stereo mounted here and we've got the Yamaha digital instrumentation which is a really nice setup. Now Edgewater uses air pack switches that integrate the circuit breakers into a waterproof switch that the Navy uses and they're very durable. You've got a swivel helm seat with a flip up bolster, a tilt wheel and that works together to give you the ideal ergonomics for comfortable driving. The gear shift also falls nicely into hand and on this one they've mounted the VHF down below the gear shift where it's out of the way yet easy to access. Now the hard top on the 245 is standard and there's some features I really like. Starting with the uprights, those are powder coated. It's a great look and it's very durable. In the hard top, Edgewater has molded speaker pods for the woofers. There's one there and there's one there and it keeps your sound right in the center of the boat where you want it. Now for water sports, the all around anchor light above is also a tow point and that's a really nice touch. Now to enhance the recreational experience, Edgewater has put in a walk-through transom door here to the boarding platform and there's a recessed boarding ladder that makes reboarding after wakeboarding or swimming very easy. Now the 245 is not just about recreation and cruising, it's also about hardcore fishing. On this boat, both gunnels are equipped with rod holders. Underneath the gunnels, you've got rod hangers for storage, like these three over here on the port side. You've also got a live well here to port and for night fishing, you've got spreader lights integrated into the hardtop, both fore and aft. Now my favorite seating on any dual console is the bow seating. It's like the first class seats. Edgewater has done a great job of this. I like these thick padded bolsters. It gives you a nice reclining angle. Probably two people can sit here face to face and enjoy the breeze over the bow. These rails give you a good secure hand grip if the water's choppy and there's cup holders on either side to handle your beverages. If you want to make this a full sun pad, add in the filler cushion and you've got plenty of room to catch the rays. Now I like the wind dam here. It's got a magnetic latch that keeps it tucked away, but you can close off the cockpit in inclement weather and have a nice sheltered ride. Now for all day cruising comfort, Edgewater has built in this large head compartment. It's got an electric flushing toilet and a fresh water sink. You've got ventilation on the side and a skylight here, so you never get that claustrophobic feeling. I'll tell you what, now the 245 CX has everything you need for recreational cruising and water sports. It's also well equipped for a fishing adventure. The SPI hull, that single piece infusion, is super solid, unsinkable, and it's warranted for a lifetime. There's plenty of seating in the aft cockpit, and I like this optional Yeti here. It keeps your drinks cold and gives your passengers one more seating option. I'm Randy Vance. This is the Edgewater 245 CX.